Tina, you've been with the Ice Capades now for two years. What's the difference between skating professionally and skating amateur besides just getting paid for it? Well, I found the difference is uh, as an amateur, I trained a, a lot harder, different hours, say at 5 in the morning until 8 or 9 at night. And now as a professional, I'm working maybe not quite as hard, but just different hours, which is sometimes uh, more trying, such as uh, 8 o'clock at night till 10.30. And then uh, I don't get up as late, it's just different things like that. The schedule as a professional is much more trying than that as an amateur. Did you have any difficulty adjusting to this? I did. At first, I, I still do at times. We have three show days on Saturday and then two on Sunday, and it's always, it's always hard Sundays. While you were skating as an amateur, you won quite a few awards. Could you go over some of them for us? Uh, I was in the 64 and 68 Olympic Games, and I competed as a, uh, in the 1964 through 1969 uh, world team national competitions. This was known as, this was during the, I guess, what you call the Peggy Fleming era. Did you and Peggy ever become very good friends? Well, we were always competitors, and I, I find that it's hard for competitors sometimes to become friends off the ice as they are competing against each other on the ice. Uh, we've just opened the Civic Center here in Roanoke. Uh, in comparing with the other rinks you've skated on, how is this? It's a beautiful arena. Looks like it suits quite a few people. I don't know, I haven't really gotten used to the ice yet, but I think everything will be okay this week.